Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Rita here, and today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm gonna get away from the um, Thoughts of Christmas Journal for a little while because I had just sold um, one of my other journals, um, which was the Henry John Abel journal, and it was, um, and usually when I uh, sell a journal, then I make some ephemera little goodies to go with it. Um, and in this case, I didn't really have anything ready yet. So it's Christmas, close to Christmas. So I thought I'd make a little mini journal. So I took Janie B's um, digital, um, what was it called? Oh, Song to, Song to the Moon. I think <laughs> anyway or moon to song to the moon I think it is I, I could never get that straight but anyway I downsized it really small but um so this is the journal that sold in it it is quite a, an expensive journal so I felt like I needed to do maybe a little extra uh thing for her um and this also was the first time I used Janie B's um papers uh let's see i'm not sure where i used them but throughout this journal i used several different um pages and uh, some were hers so um yeah that was the first experience with her um digitals and um they were great so anyway this is the journal just quick little flip through on this one it was about a man who i i found his passport um, in a thrift store and it was from his passport was from 1922 uh, and he was 62 years old um, when he when he got his passport he was going back to probably his home countries anyway so that's what inspired me for this journal and I thought it would make a great history journal or immigration uh, grandparents that immigrated or something like that so anyway enough of that so what i wanted to do was do one of those hinge journals and i'm going to use i downsized these to the five by seven and this is for the uh front of the um uh, for the pages i guess you could say so i'm going to ink these really quick as we go i wanted to do this like within an hour i don't want I didn't want this to take me all day to make, you know, this little journal, and I hope it won't. So we'll see. Okay, so there's the first one. And I don't know how much decorating I will do. We will see. I backed all, I sewed and backed all the pages um, just before I started the video. So just at random coffee dyed paper that I had available. So it's, um, okay, I was interrupted. Um, so anyway, here we are. I've got this one done, this one inked. And let me, um, and I have a fly in here that's driving me nuts. I guess it's cause it's um, so damp outside fly season, I guess. I have cows and goats and horses and everything next to me. So, but it's really not too big of an issue. Um, I've been here 10 years and, um, I think there might be a few more cows than there were when I first got here, but I haven't had that, you know, constant, uh, fly issue. But it's, I don't leave things, food or anything sitting out, so you don't have anything to attract them. So anyway, I, I downsized all her, well, not all her pages. I didn't, I didn't do every one because, um, you know, I didn't want to make this that big. I just want a little journal. Maybe she can use this as a little daily, Christmas daily. And I also used it because it's just a winter journal. It's not, uh, you know, real Christmassy. It's more just a journal for anyone, you know, because not everyone celebrates Christmas the same. 
So, and I, I hope this package gets to her quickly. I am having a real issue with my packages getting to my customers. I sent out three uh, packages in the, um, well, the last, the first one was like October 15th. And that was an ephemera pack. And it's still not there. And she only lives like 100 miles from me. So it has something to do with Alana. Um, although, uh, then I sent another package to Tennessee, and she hasn't received it. It's only been maybe five days. But usually they're there quicker than that. And it went from here, Alana, to New York, to, um, in, uh, Indiana, yeah, New York, to Indiana, and then back to ten Nashville, Tennessee. So it's in Nashville now, but as of this morning, it didn't say out for delivery. So I just, I get, I know it's the COVID because I went to the post office and I asked them what's going on and they said, you know, there's still a lot of people that are not working at the post office in all aspects. But I know internationally they're shipping again. So I, I kind of just assumed um, things were moving along. It's been a long time since I've had to ship um, because I didn't sell anything on Etsy for, gosh, maybe three years or so um, when I used to do punch needle and everything else was digitals. I had some, I have patterns, actually I still have patterns on um, my Etsy page that are digital uh, punch needles designs and they're just they're all Christmassy so all right here we go this is the book beginning of the book and I'm going to put this little guy on the cover like I did the last one so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to I have some of this fabric. I think I'm going to put all of the books together first. Pages. And um, I guess this order is fine. I don't know that it makes a difference really. Yeah, this looks up. Maybe I'll put this one kind of down here where it's a little lighter. Um... I think that's enough to hinge it because I will be. Um, okay, so we don't need a hinge on that side, right? We need it just on this side. And then this one will hinge under that. Okay. I know it's not that long since I did this, but <laughs> it's like I am so forgetful. A little bit of that on there. Get some of that. Okay, and then I'll just put some on this side. Good, uh, good white. This is really sticky stuff. Okay, then let's put paper on this one. So on this one, I'll use this glue.
I'll just kind of give it a little variety here. And you know, um, I should I should be using the the tacky glue instead because the tacky glue is more movable. Let's see if this one is working. Oops. Oh yeah, that's working big time. Here, way too much. Okay, then we'll set that one on there. And let's see. Let me do some of this muslin. Coffee dyed. When you're doing fabric, it kind of helps to um, press it in half with the iron or something. So inside each one of these is a journal page. I'm gonna go back and open this, make sure that nothing glued itself together. And you know, um, I printed out in miniature all the pictures and stuff. I was wondering if there was, I, I don't think, oh, yeah, see, I don't know. Those are, you can't see it. They're too small to use as tabs on this one. But I printed all those out. But this, I kind of want to put this in. Make it one of the um, canjas. I'll see. It may not work. May not work like I was envisioning. So I'm going to send this. I don't know if she'll see it or not. I don't know, um, like Jamie B, uh, I know she's, you know, follows me, but I don't know if she sees, I mean, who has time to watch every video? So I can understand people maybe not even getting back to my videos, even if they did want to watch them. Just getting time to sit and watch a video, especially if you're working or that kind of thing. I kind of have a daily video at lunchtime if I sit down to have lunch. But a lot of times I don't even get through the whole video. Um, I feel like, oh, I gotta get up and get back to work. Can't have, I can't enjoy that now. So, uh, let me see if I can. I better put some lids back on where I will have all my glues dried up. Okay. Let me just get a little... I don't know why I... I don't know if it's the sponge or what. I just feel like I get so much ink where I don't want it. Probably should have 
glued some background paper to this. Okay, now I've got to uh, let me get my board out of here. No, no, I got this at a yard sale or something. I have a big um, board, scoreboard, but it's too big to get out every time I want to score something. Okay, I was wondering, would this be able to be hinged in there like that? Let's see. Um, if I hinge it like that, if I hinge it this way, they could ride this way, I think. Oh, but, oh yeah, you can still see it on this side. Okay, I think maybe I will hinge it on in a smaller area. I mean, not smaller, uh, in a plain area where it's more, I don't know. Okay, let's see, what did we use on the last one? Fabric, let's use some more of this. I have this. This was leftover, so might as well use leftovers. That fly. Okay, now I'll put this one on. It's kind of boring right there. I don't know. Let's see, and that's gonna. I. I need to leave that open for a second. I could just paper clip this on. Maybe that would be better. Let's just do that. Let me just get a plain old paper clip for the moment. That's white is kind of boring. I don't know, I may change my, change the space on that one. Okay, I think we can do paper again. Let's see. Some good coffee dyed. Okay, I'll use the tacky glue for that. comes out so fast there must be a better way to a better change this out and put it in a different bottle I think that's what um, 49 dragonflies Barbara she has done that with her old um, art glitter bottle she put her tacky glue in it because there's a time when you need movability um, the art glitter glue glues, glues really well and fast, but sometimes you need it to be a little slower. All right, and then let's just do this one again. I've got enough here. I like this blue.
is going to be so cute. I love it. Okay, so we may need to let these, especially this back one, to dry a minute. Okay, in the meantime, I thought I'd put some pockets. Um, let's see, I, I don't want to decorate this so much that it's going to take me a long time. I just, um, I think what I'm going to do is take some coffee, coffee over here. Let's see. I'll cut this away from here. They have two sets because I printed them double. Otherwise, you just waste paper because I don't know how to get two on a page. I have not figured it out. Two different designs on a page. Just gonna, I'm just going to glue stick this to coffee dye paper. I really don't need to do these backs on these. Um, little pockets, but I'd like them to be a little sturdier. I'm not going to sew around all this stuff either. So we'll just put that there. Let's see what else can I glue on there while I have it. A little paper left. I've got, let me cut this in half. I have enough here to make another journal. All of the other pages I also have double. So, I don't think I want the little tickets. Tags. I saw um, this little method of gluing paper down on Roxy Creations. Rachel. All right, cut some of these and then we'll figure out where to put the pockets. Told you it was raining. It's kind of stopped now, but we're getting that hurricane weather from, I think it's uh, Zena. So we're all the way to the Z's. There must have been a lot of hurricanes out there I didn't know about. Very active season, and it's not over yet. All right, let's see. I want to make a little punch. Oh, let's we'll see what I do with my punch. I had it out earlier. Probably forgot to bring it back. Yeah, there it is. I was cutting out um, of a calendar. Uh, I think I told you I was going to. Um, instead of downloading the digital for numbers for the daily um, Christmas countdown. I was gonna cut them out of the calendar. Well, I did. It didn't quite work out the way I planned it, but we'll see how it looks when I get done. I'll do that in my next video, I think, show you. Okay, let's see. This is 
it's still pretty wet, this glue. I guess you probably should wait for it to dry. I don't have time to wait. You know, if you didn't want it to dry, it would dry up right, right away. And I don't know about putting strings in these tags either. Ah, oh, so the trash man's here. Today's Wednesday. I don't need to take mine out only like every two weeks because I just don't have any trash. I think there's only like one bag in there just right now. this is not boring you I usually and if it is just fast forward it I usually um, cut these while I'm watching TV or something in the evening but I got this bright idea this morning so I think I'll punch little holes in here but I don't know if I can put the string in them or maybe I'll do it later off camera because I have one to two business day shipping Normally, I would ship it out this morning, although my delivery, whoops, my mail delivery doesn't come until about three, so I still could get it shipped out. I'll just go ahead and get these little tags. I have more tags, too. But I thought if I down, now these I think I did four by six, I downsized them, to, you know, in the photo thing, four by six. Save that paper. Little coffee dye papers. The trash is full. I gotta do some major cleanup here. All right, let's see how these are. Okay, so let's see. Put one pocket in the front here. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. If I can do this in an hour, I will be thrilled. I might do this more often with my kits. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to have a bitty hole punch. I think it's a small one that I've never used. I'm just gonna stick those there for now. Just wanna see how it looks. Okay. So, um, let's see, how many pages? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 324, 25, 20, 26 pages. That is amazing. Okay, so let's go to page, um, let's see, one, uh, 26, let's go to page eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
definitely will cut out some more tags to put in here, but I just want you to see how they're gonna look. Okay, and let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second trash man's here. People on this street have more than one trash company. I mean, um, there's two services. Might be more than that. Whoop, I didn't like that. Okay. So I don't have any more for tickets. I mean, I do, but I'll have to Let's see what I have. Um, these little guys I can use for. Well, these are journal cards. I'll probably need to put these on the back. Back them with some paper. I'll come back and do that. I don't want you to have to sit there and watch. So what we need to do now is um, decorate the cover. What do I have that I can put on the cover? Hmm. That was it as far as those things go. Um... I need something uh, across here. I guess I can do lace. I don't feel like it's a very lacy. Whoops. This is again, uh, <laughs> the poor little deer. He's just too far over. So how am I gonna, don't have very much room. Close it off with paper like that. Okay, let me get this straight. Let's see, I have this reddish color paper. Um, let me look and see if I have any paper left from the other journal, maybe. <clears throat> okay, a few things left. Let's see. It's thick cardstock. I don't know why I'm being so careful in cutting this, but I think maybe that little curved edge would look cute on the front. Try to 
bend around it because it's stiff paper. I know I'm out of screen so many times each time I do videos, and I'm sorry. I just, I get down here where I can see, like right here, and then you can't. I don't know. I guess that looks okay. This is way too long on this side, so let me cut this down about right there. Get my cutter so it's straight. Okay, if I can hold the paper down. Alright, so we know that this is going to be here, and I think I'll use fabric tack just in case I have to move it. I should have put a little coffee dye on that. Okay. I call that coffee. I keep saying coffee dye mint. Distress ink. I don't know why I keep doing that. Okay, that's... I'm going to have to cut that. These bottles, if somebody would reinvent a wide base bottle. You know, they probably just sell glue because of that. Okay. Let that dry just a So there's a lot of journal space to write. Lots of space to write. Now, what can I put up here? I would like to do a little something. I don't know what, though. I have anything that's... that I could even cut out. I think on the other one, I put one of those little card thingies up there, but I don't think I have anything might be way too big anyway. Yeah, they're pretty big. Alright, let's 
see. What can I put? I like um, that one on there. But I don't like the word love on there. So let's see, what can I? What can I change it to? I don't want it to be, um, I have reindeer. <laughs> you can put reindeer on there. See, do I have that printed smaller? Jack Frost. Mm, I don't have that printed on a smaller scale. Very bright. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, there's reindeer. Let me look at these. I did add these to my um, um, link tree, so you should be able to find them. Those are those are bigger ones. These are smaller ones, and they all say something about Christmas, pretty much. Didn't glue down very good. What kind of glue did I use for that? I'm gonna cut these a little. Would be cute to put a charm in there. I'm not sure what. So if I glue it down, what charm would I even have to put there? I have all these little uh, Christmas ones, but. Snowflake, this rusty one. I need to order some more of these. These I used to use in my uh, punch needle things I made. And um, they're from 1804 Primitives, 24 Snowflakes. And they're very reasonable. But I used to like them because they were all rusty. Very primitive looking. Okay, I'll put a snowflake on that. And that will just hang there. Let me get this. I don't want to glue it down and then I can't move this. I don't know why it's stuck in that. There we go. That's the way it should be. Just like that. And I won't glue that corner down. Okay, and then the reindeer. Why not? It's a little big for this journal, but I like it. 
This is Visit Relatives. And you know what? That's from the same, um, how funny is that? It's from the journal that she purchased. This is part of his passport. It's funny how you, how things do that. And it, and last night, actually probably early this morning, um, I was thinking about this journal, uh, about not this one, but I mean the one I just sold, the uh, Henry Abel. I thought to myself, um, you know, if I bought that, if I had that journal, what would I write in it? About who? Isn't that weird? And But it was like a dream. It wasn't even an awake thing. It was like, I don't know. And then I got up this morning and I looked at my little, you know, messages you get. And it said, Etsy sell. And I'm like, oh, what's sold? And... It was this journal, it was the journal. So, you know, it all comes around, I guess. I don't know. Everything kind of has its own thing. So I was thinking of just tying around here to close it. Um, where's that, oh, there it is. I think, although this fabric um, got a little skinny down here. Let's see if I can get a little skinnier. I'm just gonna make it, oh my goodness, those scissors don't cut. Oh, now it's even skinnier, but this one might be fine. Let's see if this one's good. If not, I may just get a piece of twine and tie around it. to close it. It's a little short. You know, I think I'll just get a piece of twine. I have some twine. It's in the other room. Well, that looks okay, I guess, but I think the twine will look better. So I don't know, what do you think? Cute? I mean, what a neat little, I don't even know how much time I've spent on this, but not an hour. I mean, I still need to put a few tags in, but that's not, I, I'm not going overboard with it. Um, simply because it's a little gift to go with the journal. I think I'll put my little stamp in the back of this. The back page. And probably, okay, let's hope this stamps. I never know. There we go. This has been a good little stamp. I got this from a lady on Etsy. Don't know right now what her name is, but it came from China. It took a month to get, but I'm very pleased with it. Very, very pleased because it stamps really, really well if you have it on the right surface. If you put it on something crooked like I did, um, then it doesn't, but that's true with any stamp. All right, so, and then I will also put in a little thank you card with this. Okay, I'll put this out of the way, and since I have a little more time, let's, um, I was going to do like a little tuck with some of these smaller ones. And um, I guess they can put some of their own little things in here. Be perfect for a little picture or something. Although 
people don't have pictures much anymore. Everything is in their phone. All right, so let's see. I'm thinking I don't want to hide any of the pictures, so. Yeah, I, I think I'll put them on blank pages. And that way, there's still plenty of room for journaling. So I'm just going to go on the, both sides. And then I can put a tag in there. Let's see. I don't want to duplicate it, so I'm going to take this part out because I've already cut those other ones. Um, and I'm, I guess I don't have them. Oh, there they are. More tags. Okay, so I'm going to glue... This is that double tag. I might just leave that the way it is. Okay, I just had another little interruption. Um, so I've just got a few more minutes to work on this and then I'll be done. Um, so I was going to glue these down here to this. I think I can get these three glued just to get these little tags out of here. And then I will come back later and work on the other um, journal. I want... Um, I should have my glue book, but I don't, I'll just do it. I'll wipe it off. Uh, I'll work on the uh, Thoughts of Christmas Journal this afternoon. Because I want to get that one done and get it um, listed on, on Etsy. And I hope everybody gets their journals. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe they'll get them today. It's just so annoying. Um, I, I know it's all this COVID thing. And everything is on hold. I, I heard um, that they canceled the... Rose Parade. I mean, they canceled Macy's Parade. And, I mean, I guess that has been 156 years that that parade has been going. And I know the Rose Parade is over 100 years because I I, I think it was, um, the first one was um, 1911, if I'm not mistaken. Because that's... Um, where I live, I mean, I live in lived in the Los Angeles area, <clears throat> and we took the kids to the Rose Parade. I wonder if they'll cancel the football, though. <laughs> you know, they probably won't cancel the football, but I mean, it, I don't know that they need to cancel it. I mean, <sighs> because first of all, most people can watch it on TV, and I I think everybody could be. Um, Everybody can wear masks and stay social distance. Um, I mean, life is just got, how long is this going to go on? And I know it's, you know, we have to protect everybody. And I do. I go out, I wear a mask. Um, but I'm around my, my children now and my grandchildren. Um, 
We've got a little, I mean, they're going to school. I just felt like if they're going to school, uh, if I get it, I guess that's just the way it, life is. Um, I think the COVID thing is the way life is. Who would have ever expected that we would have to deal with something like this? Okay, well, um, this one I need to glue something to the back. I don't want to get on a rant about the COVID. I apologize. I just get frustrated with it at times. journal card here. see what kind of string I could put through these. See that one is right thick. Or maybe I should just put um, like twine, just the jute twine. I tell you, I think, well, I think it's my eyes. I can't see to maneuver my hands as much or something. I don't want them to be that long. Just a little something. Okay, so then, um, this little guy's here. That pepper clip, I might. to see if I can't color this paper clip. A little bronzy look to it. My daughter called, she's at Joanne Fabrics, and I, she said, do I need anything? And I really didn't need anything, but I, I told her to see if they have any tissue paper that's pink and teal, or all teal or all pink with Christmas. I could use it for decoupage or wrap up journals and things like that. I usually wrap up in tissue. All right. Kind of looks rusty. I have rusty safety pens, but I don't have rusty paper clips. This stuff dries really, really fast. Okay. Looks a little better than having just a paper clip. Oh, it feels like it's stuck. Okay, so there we go. And I'll put some twine around here. And there's a cute little journal. And I will wrap that up and send it along with her package. I might get it out today. 
I just might. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you later this afternoon. Okay, I'm just going to share with you at the end of this video um, the finished uh, little mini journal. Um, Song to the Moon um, by Janie B. Journals. <clears throat> and these are her digital papers. So I had tied this clothes with some twine. And I'm making this... Um, if you didn't see the whole video, I'm making this for um, to go along with one of the journals that I just sold, which is the Henry um, John Abel journal. And this is actually part of his passport that I put on the, the front cover. So let me just flip through it real, real quick. I made these, I miniaturized the whole journal by uh, downsizing it to like five by sevens on my photo. Um, so taking her regular digital papers and then reducing them down to um, the papers to a five by seven, which makes this book, let's see, what does it measure? I don't know. It measures five by like three and a half. Okay, so um, then this is the inside. I sewed around and put um, background pages on all of them, uh, coffee dyed paper. And then I just cut out um, her uh, I miniaturized also her journal cards and her tags and her pockets so that they would fit in here. And I did these on the four by six uh, size of my uh, photo um, uh, print area. Okay, then I hinged them together. This one is, yeah, that one doesn't have a hinge. Uh, hinged them together with some uh, papers and fabrics and so forth like I did the other hinge journal that I made uh, originally with this kit. And here's another tag, a little um, tucked place. I made a little envelope out of the leftover coffee dye paper just stuck in there. Uh, this one's hinged with coffee dyed paper. There's two little tags in there with the pocket. Hinged this with some um, muslin. Uh, coffee dyed. Then here's like three little tags on this little, um, um, I can't think of the name of it right now. Isn't that awful? Um, this is some more batik uh, fabric that I used in the last journal, the first journal I made with um, these papers. This is a little, um, oh, this is really hard to get off. I painted that. I don't know. Maybe that's not very good. This is just a little um, journaling card that that was attached to this page with the paper clip. And I painted this paper clip, but it's not working very well, so I may have to change that out. Here, let me get this little black one. It's just clipped on the side. Um, then another little journal card and another little tag. A more coffee dyed paper for a hinge. And then here's another envelope back here and another tag and a tuck. That's what I was thinking earlier. And then journal um, a uh, batik fabric here to put these two pages together. And then in the back here, and I stamped it with my handcrafted by Rita. So, um, and I put a little charm out here also, a little uh, rusty snowflake. So anyway, I think this will be really cute um, to send along with her uh, John Abel journal. And... Um, you know, if somebody wants to make one of these just for an, an, a little gift, I think it it took me less than an hour, probably. I mean, I did have to, you know, print the images. And I don't know why these always go uh, crooked on me. There's got to be a better way to tie. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, nice little gifts, though, um, for somebody, I think as a gift, uh, you know, along with the journal. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what happened. A gift to go along with the journal or just um, for one of your friends. A little mini Christmas um, journal book. I think there was like 17 pages in here or something like that. I forgot. I counted them, but I forgot what it was. Anyway, that was the end of the um, little video that I just did. And I just wanted to show the finished uh, product. Okay. Thank you. Bye.